Please take it away, Kent. <laughs> How's, it going? How's it going, James? Great. Mustache Prime, all right? In arena football, the Compton Crooks took on the Pacoima Pussycats. During the game, three Pacoima players were shot and four victims of identity theft. They are getting more sophisticated. The final score, Compton Crooks, 81, Pacoima Pussycats, 6. After the game and interview, Pacoima coach Skip McDougal admitted that it probably wasn't the best idea to draft the team based on who best personified the team's mascot. In professional frisbee golf, the Hollywood hipsters took on the Silver Lake Silver Fish. Silver Lake star Iggy Pompolino had to be carted off the field because his skinny jeans were too tight and cut off the circulation to his testicles. Ouch. <laughs> yep, that is indeed painful. Ow. The on-hand crowd of seven people were chanting the name of Frank... Franco... Hmm? Franco Maruva. That sounds made up. Is this even a real thing? Well... Tubby Tupman? What, what the hell? I don't know. Who's I mean, seriously, who's writing this? Franco Maruvovich, who threw, or I guess, I don't know, shot through 12, it's not even a real sport. I've never heard of it in my life. Ugh. I mean, I've heard of frisbee and golf, but not frisbee golf. How do you, how do you do that? Unfortunately, hours after the game, during required drug testing, hipster player Leo Carruthers was disqualified after testing negative for marijuana. Hipsters. That's right, <laughs> testing negative for marijuana. Apparently in frisbee golf, great sport that it is, you are required to have a certain amount of THC strolling through your system. He did not. Strolling. After he claimed that he is only smoking e-cigarettes because it is better for the environment. So Sounds like someone would fit in well with the pussycats. <coughs> pussycats. <laughs> now let me tell you something. Tell us. About performance enhancing abstinence. Now, if you can't handle a little hashish, you can't handle frisbee golf. You can't handle the golf! My father, Mort Sportman, took one hit in 1986 and tested positive in every one of his pro-am victories. That is how it's done, Leo. James, back to you. Thank you for that masculine report. Oh, that was... And that's all we have time for, Amber Anderson. I'm James Matthews, back to Jackson Fox and the new level. Oh, he's gorgeous. Quiet. Unlike you. <laughs>